Hey everyone, welcome back. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm glad to have you. I hope everyone enjoys the video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Today we are going to make a shirt for my brother for Christmas. So you'll notice on my computer screen it says December 26. So I had previously filmed this part of my intro to the video on Christmas Eve and then made the shirt and somehow I messed up the filming of this part. The audio was terrible. So I'm refilming it. So we're just going to pretend it's still Christmas Eve. So Merry Christmas Eve to everyone. Hopefully you're getting all your last minute Christmas crafts done and your wrapping and visiting family, going to church, whatever it is you do on Christmas Eve. For me, a couple more shirts, getting cookies ready to give out. I've been busy for the last uh, week or so making cookies. I do that every year for my family. I don't know if they deserve it or not. <laughs> That's a joke. They do. They really appreciate the Christmas cookies, or at least they say they do, and they look forward to it every year. One year I didn't do it because I was not in town for Christmas. I was in uh, Las Vegas, so I'm sure everyone was pretty sad, but enough about that. We're making a shirt for my brother. So he is a Denver Broncos fan, probably one of their biggest fans. It's his favorite NFL team. So I have here, I just moved it around. I've got a PNG file. Now, if you've ever taken a, a, an online picture, especially if you have like an iPhone, it saves it as a PNG, but you got to convert it to an SVG. So I am on this website called PNG to SVG. I use this website for simple images. You know, maybe three colors. Nothing more than that. So let's scroll down and you can see I've already plopped it in there down below, but I'll show you all the steps. So where it says drag and drop, choose a file. Just plop it in there. You come down and you've got your colors and your simplify. Mine's only got the three colors, blue, orange, and white. So we'll click generate. Let me make this one a little bigger and it will show it on the right side and at that point you would just click download SVG and follow your prompts on your computer to get that file saved. I'm on a Mac so I would click download and then go to my little download button there and pop up my download screen and then just drag and drop it into my SVG file. I have already done that, so I won't do it again, but this is an easy way. Again, don't use complicated images for this. I find if it gets more than three colors, four colors at the max, it gets a little blurry and I use different web pages. But let's pop into Cricut. So I've got the image there, but I'll show you real quick if you don't know how to upload an image. So click Upload. I'm just going to scroll over here. So there's my SVG file. You just use the drag and drop. There is the logo there. We're not going to do anything to it. You can rename it on the right side, add some takes to it. I could add, this is for my brother Mike, so I could do a logo for Mike, whatever I want. I've already uploaded it, so I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to hit cancel. But I am going to go back into my uploads and pull the file again because I did a little trick on this one. So I wanted to show it to you. So I'm putting this on a black shirt, but I've got a pretty vibrant blue. So I'm not going to worry about the blue not really showing up because I think it will be fine. But when I ungroup these, you can see there's the three layers. I don't want to have any issues when my light white layer goes onto the blue layer. So I'm just going to contour out the blue layer so it's solid. And then if I have any stretching of the HTV as I'm pulling off the carrier sheet, it's not going to show the black shirt between where everything's supposed to line up. So let's get that where it's supposed to be. So there, you can't tell 
right now that I filled in the blue layer, but I did. I'm going to get this cut out. Then we'll get this attached to the shirt. And again, if you're making a shirt for a family member, a loved one, and it's a logo, you can spruce it up and personalize it on the back, put in their name, you know, or if they've got a favorite player, you know, put in that information on the back. I might do something. I'll do that off camera. Um, cause the main part of this is, you know, just turn, turning a PNG file into an SVG file and an easy layer project. So again, I'll get this cut out and I'll meet you back at my craft table. So I've got everything weeded out. There's the Bronco logo. Now I've taken my easy press and I've done the preheating for the 10 seconds. I've also put a crease down the center. Now we're going to pack the first two layers on. But first we got to find the center. So because this image is not like a square or anything, we've got a bit more leeway. So that looks good. What do you think? I'm happy with that. So I'm using two types of uh, vinyl here. I'm using Caesar for the blue and the orange color. And then because I didn't have any white left in Caesar, I actually went with my Cricut. I'm going to go with the Cricut heat guide because it hasn't uh, done me wrong in the past. So let's tack on the first one. We're going to do about five seconds and see how that adheres. Move the parchment out of the way. And I've already taken a sticky roller and gotten rid of some fuzz and stuff. I can see I got a bit more that I got to get rid of. So when you're pulling off your tacked layers, you just want to be careful. You don't want to pull anything up. You are going to get a little bit of stretching. That's always going to happen when it comes to layering HTV because there's um, it shrinks. So just remember that. Okay. So another tip I'm going to give you is whatever image you're lining up, have a copy of it available for you to look at. So on my computer screen to the left over here, I do have this image so I can look to see how well I've got this lined up. And I'm just going to make sure that everything looks good. Yes, it does. Okay. Get our parchment paper back down. Again, we're tacking for, oh, I almost forgot. Take your big transfer sheet and lay that down as well. And then you're protecting the bigger layer. Now the white's going to adhere better than the blue because the white's being fully adhered onto the blue. Look at that. Lovely. Little bit of stretching there. Again, you can't uh, not have that. So the eye lines up right there. And those should look pretty good. Oh, love it. So this is a Christmas present. Can't remember if I said that as I was showing you on Design Space or not. Okay, I'm doing another five seconds. And you're probably thinking, what? What's going on? And I'll show you why I'm doing that. 
So when you're layering like this, you have smaller pieces of the transfer sheet. You don't want the lines of the smaller piece showing. So you won't be able to see it that well, but I can see a white line going down there. So to get rid of that, you do your final press with the transfer sheet, the big one over everything. Sorry, it's making lots of noises. Now I'll do uh, probably about 25 seconds so everyone gets a full 30 seconds, a little bit more. Again, you're using firm pressure. Oh, there's a family. It looks like they're going to play in the snow and they got the cutest little puppy. He's got a jacket on. Oh, I wish you guys could see it. It's a jacket with a hood and it's fur lined. Oh, it is so adorable. I don't have any puppies. <laughs> Okay, so I can see everything is adhering wonderful. I can see the grain of the shirt. That's what you're looking for. Now we're going to press the back for 15 seconds as per the Cricut instructions. And again, if you ever get messed up on where you're at, you can usually see the line from your press on the back of the shirt, no problem. This is just to make sure that it's all heated up. I know some brands like Caesar, I don't think they recommend uh, doing the back or they just don't say to do the back. They're not recommending against it. I guess that wasn't making sense. There we go. The shirt's all cooled off. It looks fantastic. I know I always get worried when there's blue on black, that the blue won't pop, but because it's the white and the orange, you can't miss the blue. I know it looks a little darker on the screen. So hopefully while you're watching this on the YouTube, it will look better. But uh, either way, this is a great easy way to turn a PNG, JPEG, whatever file over to an SVG file and you can make a custom shirt for someone. So just be careful because things like copyright, this is a gift so I don't have to worry about it. I'm not selling it. Just making the shirt for my brother for Christmas. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. But thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate you. Until next time.